Hi, I'm Sarah from Code Like a Girl, and today I'm going to show you a really exciting gadget from our friends at Imagilabs. I'm coming to you from the lands of the Paramank people, and I pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. One question we always get asked is, what can I do to encourage my daughter or my granddaughter or my niece into coding and technology? And that's a really important question because there are a lot of things we have to consider when it comes to young people and computers, especially online in regards to privacy and safety. So what I'm going to show you today is a really cool answer to this question because it combines coding and creativity in a fun and safe and even collaborative way. Imagilabs have sent us their Imagicharm, which uses the Python coding language to program pixel art and animations and even games. So I'm going to unbox this and then put some of my coding skills to the test. So what we do is short press the power button here to turn it on. See a little wake up animation, cute. And then it displays a number, which I believe has something to do with the ID of the device. The next thing we have to do is download the app from the App Store. I've just searched for Imagilabs in the Play Store and found the app. I'm going to hit install. So the first thing I see on this app is a number of different artworks and animations and games by the looks of it that people have already made. I'm going to connect my charm to my app using the connect tab here. This is going to turn on Bluetooth. So it uses Bluetooth to talk to the charm. And I'm just selecting the name of my charm there. And now we're connected. I've got the little Bluetooth symbol. Okay, let's create. Let's try creating something. I'm going to hit the create button and create a new project. And I see what looks like a code editor, something I recognize as a code editor. It already has a little bit of starter code here and I can click run. It's verifying my code. And if I upload it, my upload is complete and it's programmed one little pixel at the top there. If you've never worked with code before, and even if you have, this can look a little bit daunting. So let's go into the learn section of the app and see what we can learn about how to program this. Let's go to the first one here, learn the matrix. And it says tap on the highlighted pixels to turn them on. The grid of pixels on the Imagi charm is called the matrix, and that represents the collection or the list of the 64 individual pixels in this 8 by 8 grid. Each of those pixels can be accessed by these lines of code like you see here. So we have M11 on means that the pixel at the row 1, column 1 should display as on. This is a little bit confusing because this is written in Python, which uses a zero index, meaning that the first item in the list actually has the index of zero. So if we wanted to target the very top leftmost pixel, we'd say M00 on. So in this exercise, now it's asking me to turn on pixel M24. The first number is the row. The second number is the column. So I'm looking for row two and column four. There we go, now five. I've hit upload and that's uploaded this cute love heart to my Imagi charm. I finished that tutorial. Let's try the next one where we can color the matrix. So pick a letter to set the color of a light in the matrix. There we go. Now I've set these four little colored lights here. The online learning hub for Imagi Labs has some really good extensive documentation that will teach you how to use the Python code in the app, as well as some project examples to get you started. So let's get started with one of the examples that they give. 
let's try to program our own smiley face into the app. I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to start by copying the code they've given us here so we can get up and running and start to get a feel of how this works. Now I want to try changing the color of my little smiley face and the way I can do that is by using color variables. The simplest way to do it is just to use the letters that they've defined here. So let's have a play around with that. I'm going to start changing the word on to different color variables in my project. Upload and there we go. I've got some different colors showing up on my little happy face there. Something else I want to try here is the blink rate environment variable, which will create a blinking effect of the pixels that I've got lit up on my charm. So what I'm going to do is set a blink rate and I'm going to do that by simply writing the word blink underscore rate and setting that to equal, let's go with one. Upload that, let's see what happens. Now it starts to blink. So far, playing around with the Imagilabs app, just for a few moments, we've already been able to work with coding concepts that we do work with in the real world of programming. Things like indexes, variables, environment variables, color models, and the Python language, which is one of the most popular programming languages and is used by developers and tech companies all over the world. It also has some built-in functions and there's a few more functions here that I want to play around with. So I've got a function called scrolling text that takes one, two, three, four, five arguments. Let's have a go at that. Let's run this and upload it. Yeah, there we go. The next thing I'm going to try is programming a little kind of rainbow using some of our Code Like a Girl custom brand colors using a for loop. Now, this is going to be a bit more complicated code wise. So I'm going to write the code in Python on my computer first. And then I'm going to share that to my phone and upload that into the app. I've shared the code from my computer to my phone. So now I'm creating a new project and I'm going to paste that in there. And let's run and see if my code works. Success, that worked. Now let's upload and see what we get. There we go. I've created a little rainbow, diagonal rainbow of some of our Code Like a Girl brand colors. If you make a mistake in your code, for example, let's try to change something here to see if it complains a little bit. Let's get rid of the comma, for example, between our RGB value and run, verify, and we get a syntax error. Now this is an error that you'd get in Python code if you were doing it on a code editor, if you were working um, you know, in a Python environment. And this tells us there's a syntax error in valid syntax string on line four. So we can look at that, we can start to debug our code here. And if you run into trouble and you're not really sure what to do next, there is a help button on the app you can click and that'll take you to the Discord server. So you can find the Imagilabs Discord server via that help button on the phone app or online on a browser via the Imagilabs website. I want to show you a couple of other projects that I've managed to create while I've been playing around today. This one is a cute little blinking rainbow heart. And the next one I've got here is a little lightning bolt that's sort of like our little Code Like a Girl lightning bolt. With the Imagicharm, you learn a lot of concepts that programmers use every day, things like variables, 
loops and color models, and you'll learn it in the Python coding language, which is one of the most popular coding languages. And it's often taught by universities uh, to computer science students. Using the app and using the Python code really helps with logic and problem solving. And even the error messages that it shows are real Python error messages. So you start to get used to reading them and knowing how to debug your code when an error comes up. Imagilabs have given us a 15% discount code to use. So I'll pop that up on the screen now. It's code like a girl 15. You can also get free shipping for orders over $160 with the code Australia free. That's free shipping to Australia. So make sure you use our discount code between now and the 31st of December 2020 to get 15% off your order. Link is in the description below as well. The charm is aimed at girls aged 9 to 15. Any younger, I think they'd struggle with the syntax as well as just typing on the screen. Certainly for those teenage girls, for that teenage age group, I think this would be fantastic. I would have loved playing around with something like this when I was a teenager with my friends and, you know, hanging it on my bag and showing off the different designs that I'd been able to code. I think it's also got quite a low barrier to entry in terms of skill. You don't really need any skill to start with and you can learn everything you need to learn on their website, on their documentation. So I'm going to keep playing around with this and see what else I can come up with. If you come up with any cool designs for your Imagi charm, please do share them with us on social media at CodeLikeAGirlAU and we really look forward to seeing what you can create. Keep coding. We'll see you later. Bye.